All right, so we're going to do a colored focal point. In order to do this project, you're going to go to the website first. You go to student work, color focal points. All right, again, that is studentportfoliony.com. Go to color focal points. And once you're on there, click the video and you'll get this video tutorial. Here are examples of other people, what they have done. All right, you have the cyclone here. I, I love this one, very colorful. You can do buildings. Now, you're going to notice that uh, a lot of different tools can be used to cut out these images. All right. Um, it could be anything and everything that you'd like. All right. There is no right or wrong with this. You're going to see an image that is in color and you're going to decide on what elements you should make um, black and white and make something else stand out as a colored focal point. OK, in that in this case, we're going to open up Photoshop. You are going to go to the Internet now. And I chose images already. So I chose this colored, uh, like, bunch of paintbrushes and stuff. Right-click, copy image. Go back into Photoshop. Go to New. You're going to notice it sets up the dimensions already. You're going to click OK. Edit, paste. There it is. First thing you're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this image right here. Hello, After you've duplicated this image, what's up? After you've duplicated this image, you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and you're going to go to channel, channel Mixer and just click on Monochrome. You can play with it to make it a little bit more contrast and things like that, but just uh, basically leave it as it is. It'll be legit. So now I have a colored image and I have a black and white image. I'll name this one BNW. Okay? So black and white for BNW, uh, BNW for black and white. So now watch. I'm going to start using an eraser tool. And you guys know how to use these eraser tools now. Look, so now I have, all I'm doing is I'm erasing the top layer and I'm revealing the bottom layer. And now I have yellow. In order, the way that I did that is clicking on the eraser tool, going to a different uh, a size, choosing a soft edge, all right? And I went to a size. At this stage of the game now, you guys should also know that you can also use a polygonal lasso or something and you can start tracing this and things like that. I find it a lot easier when I can use an eraser tool sometimes, okay? And you'll get super close. You could also change the diameter of your eraser to speed up the process a little bit, you know, and just do it that way, all right? So I'll just do three colors, not to get too crazy. I'll do the, the red one also, all right? What this has done is uh, it's used by photographers when they do photo shoots for like weddings and stuff and they make things in color while the rest is black and white. There's the original. And there's the new revised image. See, it's just erasing this layer and revealing the bottom layer, which is this one. All right, so this is one image done. Now I'm going to teach you how to save this as a JPEG now. File, export in Photoshop 2223, export as. And you're going to see it's a JPEG. It could be a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF. Make it a JPEG. Hit export. And in this case, we're going to go into graphic design. In your graphic design folder, make a new folder called Color Focal Points. And I am going to call this as, uh, I'll call this Brushes. Um, brushes dash one. Brushes one, and you'll hit save. So now I know how to save images as a JPEG. Let's get another image now. All right, I did brushes. Let me do a parrot. Watch how we do. Copy image, go into Photoshop. Um, I don't need this anymore. It's done. I'm going to go to New. There's the dimensions of the parrot. Hit Create. Edit. Paste. Boom. There's the parrot. Watch how fast this is going to be. I'm going to duplicate this parrot. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer, making it black and white, monochrome. Okay. Watch this. You do not have to go too crazy. All I want to do is make a little part of his feathers in color over here. Okay. No problem. Watch this. Eraser tool, make sure I have the soft edge. I'll make the diameter nice and large, even bigger than that. That's fine. Boom. Now I've got a little area of color. That's all I want. Just something a little bit. Color. Oops, too much. There you go. I want just that in color or just this much. That's it. That's all I want of this thing, and that's that. All right, fine. File, export, export as. And look, here's the original. Sorry, here's the original, and there's the image that I've just erased, and when you reveal the bottom layer, there's what shows on the bottom. 
layers, like layers of a cake, okay? So this one should be called B and W, right? To do it that way. With that being said, all right, we could save this now as a JPEG. So you'll go to File, Export, Export As, and after you hit Export As, it is a JPEG. You go to Export. It's already inside your desktop, the graphic design folder, color focal points. There's brushes, so you can call this thing Parrot. Parrot, and it's number two. You are going to do 10 colored focal points. The reason I'm making you do 10 is because of this very reason right here. When we go back to the internet, right? Um, I want to do splashing paint on this body over here, all right? Or better yet, I'll do colorful buildings. Watch this. I'm going to go to copy image. And when I went to copy image, now I'm going to go into Photoshop, um, new file, create, edit, paste, paste special, paste in place. Now watch. I'm going to duplicate this layer just as I normally would. I'm going to go to image, adjustments, channel mixer. And now I have the uh, image in black and white. Now here's the deal. Maybe you need to be more specific. So I only want things that are in blue to come out. So I will use the polygonal lasso tool. See, now you're problem solving based on your tools. You don't exactly have to use the um, um, eraser tools now. So I come up here in this layer, I'm just gonna hit um, edit, cut. And now I've cut out this one blue. And if I take this away, I notice there's another blue over here and maybe I want the bottom to be blue. So now you're tracing parts of different things that you need to, to make sure that the, uh, you know, the color comes out. So in this layer, control X, and now that one's in blue. All right. And now if I want just the bottom part to be like uh, revealed over here, I can use the eraser tool again. I can soften, um, shorten the uh, size of it. And now I can make just the ocean, the, the, you know, the floor of the water, along with just the boats in a certain color. And now, boom, I got that done. Okay? So now you have the reflection. You could also just do the reflections. Listen, there's no right or wrong with what you see to be a color focal point. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As. You could export it as a quick PNG for web design purposes, but I'm going to export it as a JPEG for now. Export, I'm going to call it buildings now. So I'll call it buildings. Three. And now you have the third image saved, okay? Now listen, there's no right or wrong with this. You can do it any way that you like, okay? I'm going to get rid of this one, don't need it. Uh, if you do want to save an image as a Photoshop file, you know how to do that, but I'll remind you on how to do it right now. So last one, you know, you could type in splashing paint on body. So I'll take this image right here, copy image, go into Photoshop, new file, create, edit, paste, boom, duplicate it, image, adjustment, channel mixer. Boom, boom, okay. I only want the eyeballs. All right, watch how easy. I'll keep it under the uh, under the size thing. Boom, there's the eyes. That's it. That's all I wanted. Maybe I'll touch it a little bit harder. There you go, just the eyes. Now, let's say that you go in and you want to come in really, really close. And you want to just trace these leaves here with the polygonal lasso tool. No one is going to stop you from doing that. Okay, I don't mind it at all. All right, and if you really want to go in that deep into detail, you can. And I'll count more than one color focal point as two. You need 10 of them. But if you trace things, and I could tell, edit, cut, if I go back, if I back out and I see that you did such crazy little details in here, I'll count one image as more than one. I'll be able to take this away and I'll be able to see what was done and I'll be able to know based on your layers which tools were used because, well, I've been doing this a long time and I know what's what. All right. So there you have it. So that being said, I'm going to go to file, export. You could export it as a JPEG again. Or if you really did a lot of work and you want to save your work, like the process, you could save it as both the JPEG and a Photoshop file. Here's how. File, export export as 
obviously it's a JPEG, export, and we're going to save it as um, uh, body paint. Why not? And we'll call this one number four. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, this is four. All right, save. Now I'm also going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to make it a PSD file. And this is in my color focal points folder now. Make sure. Go into color focal points, and you're not going to see the other ones because it's in a PSD format, Photoshop document. So I'm going to call this one body paint. Four. And I'll hit save. I'll hit OK. And there you have it. So I don't need that one for the body paint. Let's just do one more just so we know that we got it together. Uh, which one was it? Colorful, things like that. We did a parrot. We did paint brushes. I'll show you another cool search that really gives you great images. Nebula, birth of a star. All right. Um, these are really colorful, colorful images. Listen, there's no right or wrong with this. You could literally come in here and you could do the same exact thing with a nebula. Nebula gives you great images. Um, if you copy the nebula, come into here, new file, create, edit, paste, duplicate it. In this layer up here, the top one, call it black and white, BNW, right? In this one, image or image adjustments, channel mixer. Boom, monochrome, boom, boom. Go into here, make it an eraser tool, ginormous eraser, like that. Bow, right dead smack in the middle of the nebula. And now you have a nebula, okay? So when you have that, you go to File, Export, Export As, and you can export it as a JPEG. You wanna save it as a Photoshop file, File save as you save it as your photoshop file and notice it's still in color focal points as body paint 4 you can call this thing nebula 5 okay and that's how you save your stuff into the right folders all right um i'm not going to save this one we know what we did so now if i go on to the uh onto your desktop you know how to save everything right so that's how we do this so if i go into graphic design i notice that if you check it out into color focal points I have my Photoshop um, image, which was for four, and there are my JPEG images, all right? So when I open them, I could just view them right away, and they come out as photos, all right? Just taking a minute to load it, but it does work. And there's how they look as uh, images, okay? So you made some really colorful images, and it's really easy to do, okay? And again, this is just for educational purposes, so you guys can learn this, and you have color focal points now, and you guys now know how to do that. Okay, thank you.